You already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Poor Boy, sending the poll. Don't stand for poll. And this news that I'm about to bring to you guys today may be old to you, but it may be new to somebody else as well as if you listen up. Some things I may say may be new to you as well. Now, hit me with a follow on Twitter if you ain't following me on Twitter. If you got any questions you want to ask me directly that you ask me in the comment section, make sure to follow me on Twitter, Poor Boy Online. And let's jump right into it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Dev took to Twitter about almost a month ago to speak about hotspots. And this is for people that are confused about how hotspots work right now because a lot of people are saying that the Hot Zone Hunter badge is trash and is useless right now. And Hot Zone Hunter, it's not that it's trash or it's useless. The way Hot Zones work now makes Hot Zone Hunter trash and useless if you don't shoot a lot of shots. Now, if you do shoot a lot of shots or you're a sharpshooter or you shoot majority of uh, the shots in every game that you play, then keep Hot Zone, Hot Zone Hunter on because Hot Zone Hunter is still an OP badge. I literally cannot green up without this badge and without my hot spots. So let's jump right into what the dev said. He said, seems that there is some confusion about the 25 game window. So if you guys don't know, your hot spots are supposedly resetting every 25 games that you play in the park. But the dev says, seems that there is some confusion about the 25 game window. Zones don't reset every 25 games. It's a moving window where only your last 25 games count for hot zones it is a how are you shooting lately feature now i do want to say now i don't want to disrespect the dev or step on the dev's toes or anything like that but that's the same thing in the sense of our hot spots resetting every 25 games now our hot spots don't reset every 25 games to where we have to earn them back but so say you come to the park and you already got hot zones the next 25 games you play are going to determine your next set of hot zones as well as i want to throw this out there because i know a lot of people really do not know about this so every time you switch to a new park every time you switch to a new park server yes yeah, so you go on stage and go to a new park you go through the neighborhood go to a new park you join your friend you go from east to west to asia eu when you step into that new server, your hotspots are going to be all neutral for the first game you play when you go into a new server. So just like I said, as simple as that, you play one, you got all your hotspots in one park, you switch parks with your buddy, you're not getting no, no games, you go to another park, and then you jump into another park in your first game into that new park server, you're not going to have no hotspots. So keep that in mind, I have lost so many, I won't say so many games, because I only got 230 L's right now currently in 5k wins, yeah, your boy, you know what I'm saying, your boy really thugging it out, but, um... But every time you go into a new server, your hotspots are going to reset for that first game you play. Now, that second game you play, so if you hop onto the court for your first game in that server, you ain't going to have no hotspots. You win the game, that next game, you're going to get your hotspots back. Or you lose that first game, you come spin the block, you're going to have your hotspots back. So keep that in mind. When you jump into a new park server, you're going to have to be careful with your shots for that first park game. I know I have to. Every time I switch servers, that first park game into a new server is always if because people already play off me as it is people play me just like they played me on 2k19 only thing this year is it's killing them so and it ain't even killing them softly like it's killing them hardcore this year people playing off of me sitting in the paint thinking that i can't shoot when i got shooting badges this year so i do i will have i will have a couple of videos i think i might even do a russian roulette series this year because so many people and my, 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 my real subs, you know what I'm saying, my OG subs that be in the streams know what I mean by Russian roulette, you feel me? I ain't gonna miss too many shots, you know what I'm saying? I'm only gonna miss one or two and I'm knocking the rest of them down. Now, let me bring up this hot zone chart that the dev did drop for us on Twitter for us to be able to better maintain our hot spots. Now, I'm only gonna talk about the park section. As you guys can see on here, you got the Pro-Am section as well and you got the My Career section. But we're gonna talk about the park section. But as you guys can see, under the basket 30 field goal attempts to maintain your high spots in 25 games close range shots 10 field goal attempts medium range shots 15 field goal attempts and three-point range shots 10 field goal attempts now under the basket you got to shoot 75 percent or higher for a high spot 
65% or higher close range, 60% or higher medium range, and 55% or higher for uh, three-point range on the uh, the to get your hot spots to maintain your hot spots. Now you will get cold spots as you guys can see if you shoot 60% or lower under the basket, 50% lower close range 45 percent or lower medium range and 35 percent or lower in the three-point range so keep that in mind if you want to maintain your your hot spots in the three-point range make sure to shoot 10 field goal attempts in all of your spots in 25 games now that does sound very drastic and i have asked the dev if they're gonna keep hot spots the way they are and not gonna revert them to bump that 25 games up to like 50 games and even a possible 100 games 25 games makes it to where it puts pressure and it puts stress on non-shooting bills because non-shooting bills can lose their hot spots very easily and it's going to be difficult for them to gain them back and maintain them especially if they're not shooting the ball a lot now that's why i said high zone hunter is still good for players that do shoot the ball a lot because you will be able to maintain your high zones better than your, somebody on your team that doesn't shoot the ball a lot now i in my opinion like i said I don't care if they revert the hot spots. I don't care if they keep them the same way. Either way, I'm going to win games. But if they keep them the way that they got them now, they need to bump it up from that 25 games to about 50, 50 to 100 games. Just so it isn't so much pressure on players out there to shoot the ball just to keep their hot spots. Now, we're going to jump off talking about hot spots and we're going to jump into trying to help you guys keep some of your plus five. 99 overall caps now there are players out there that still don't know you can get plus five after you hit 99 overall so when you hit 99 overall you will get the plus four and if you go below 99 overall you'll lose the plus four now if you go deep beyond 99 overall you will get plus five now the best way to maintain and keep your plus five stats is to play twos you will lose your plus five you know what I'm saying? 99 overall caps playing rec, playing pro am, even playing threes, especially if you're not doing a lot within the game. Now, on the twos, me and my teammate are able to maintain our plus five 99 overall caps fairly easy because one, it's just me and my teammate we have to worry about. It's not threes where we got to. Uh, I got to worry about two other people maintaining their caps. And then it's not like fives, you know what I'm saying, rec and pro-am. Well, I got to worry about four other people keeping their plus five caps. Now, an another tip to throw out there, man, if you want to keep your plus five caps as well as you don't want to lose a lot of overall when playing in these tournaments, stay away from the Ruffles tournament. I mean, running Ruffles is a very small chance. It has a v You have a very small chance of winning Ruffles. Especially this year because certain players have to keep playing ruffles over and over and over again to maintain their score on the all-time leaderboard. So if you don't like losing overall and you like keeping your plus five caps, I will advise you to stay away from ruffles or keep the ball in your hands during the entire tournament. Now, like I just said, the best way to maintain your plus five caps is to play twos. I play twos all day and I never lose my plus five caps until I lose like a game or two. Now, I know a lot of you guys already know you'll lose overall for inactivity within games. So like if you're playing rec and you're a spot up and you're not doing nothing in the game, same thing as in prime. If you're playing 5v5 prime, you're not doing anything in your games. You're just spotting up being a cone. You will lose overall. So if you care about losing overall, take that into mental note when you're playing fives to try and get some buckets up there or something or you will lose overall at the end of the game now i hope that that helps some of you guys out when it comes to keeping your plus five caps as well as help you guys on not losing overall i have tried to talk to mike wang about kind of altering the fluctuation system I was real excited for the fluctuation system when it was introduced before the game came out. But now that the game is out, I feel like the fluctuation system needs some tweaking. Um, there is no way in hell players should be losing overall when they're winning games. And then there's no way in hell you should lose overall for inactivity within games just because how your team runs an offense. Now, 
I will say something to, to, to Mike Wang about it again and then hit up the other dev, Zach, about it and see if we can get a little tweak or altercation in this 99 overall fluctuation system. So y'all just, y'all, y'all, y'all try and hold out on that. Hopefully y'all ain't losing too much overall out there. And I just wanted to bring the high, the, the high zone thing to y'all attention for my subscribers, for people that don't know, as well as I wanted to give you guys a couple of tips on maintaining your plus five 99 overall caps. Now I did have some gameplay for y'all in the background. I hope y'all have been enjoying the gameplay. Um, I will have some more updated gameplay coming for you guys soon. This is obviously a lead three gameplay. I do have some very good gameplay on the way, as well as after Legend, I plan on getting in depth with my editing and possibly coming out with some more mixtapes and things like that this year because I do want to showcase a lot of my gameplay that I had during my Legend grind. And I do got a lot of comp videos to drop for you guys as well. Um, let me know down in the comment section if you guys do want to see some of the comp videos that I have. Uh, as well as let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see from me this year. I know I post a lot of gameplay. Um, I try and post a lot of comp gameplay because that's what I like posting on my channel. I don't too much like going into the challenges or the skits or trying to like get deep into coming up with something for a video. Like I feel like my gameplay should speak for itself. Uh, everybody here on my channel, I could tell that you guys like gameplay. You like seeing my gameplay. You here to see my gameplay, and um, I don't really want to try and too much change up from that. You know, whether if I'm gonna grow fast or grow slow from just posting just straight gameplay, then so be it. I didn't start YouTube to be an actor. I didn't start YouTube to put on a fake face or a fake facade. I started YouTube and Twitch to showcase my gameplay and showcase my skill in the game. And if that's not enough to hit a million subscribers, then so be it, you feel me? I'll figure out something to do in another lane another time in the future. But for now, I just like posting gameplay to my channel. I like posting comp gameplay. I appreciate those that do love, appreciate, and support what I do post here on the channel. And like I said, let me know what you guys want to see on the channel. I still got to drop my animation video for you guys. I will say it again. I'm still using Pure Curry for those that's waiting on my jump shot video. I'm using straight Pure Curry. No jump shot creator. No extra releases or anything like that. Just straight Pure Curry. As well as after Legend, I will come out with a, a rap method video for you guys as well um, i'll try and do how to get rep on a sharp a playmaker and then a center everybody knows that if you want to get rep on a slash or to catch alley oops and then uh, everybody should pretty much know how to get rep on a playmaker as well when it comes to throwing alley oops you know what i'm saying getting pick and roll assists and flash assists and things like that but i will break down the my point rep system for you guys at the legend so just hold on for that, and I'm going to catch up with y'all in the next video. Y'all stay blessed. I hope you guys appreciate the tips on the 99 overall caps and on the high zone and the high spots. And I'm going to catch up with y'all in the next one. Y'all be easy. I'm out. One.